What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a new installment of Harry Builds, a React Native app, September edition, the first edition, the best edition, the greatest edition. Today's episode is all about making that calendar screen for this application where you can actually see a list of all the calendar dates so you can actually create a photo for that day. That's what we're gonna be doing today and let's start now. We're here on the README and I want to be using this open source project called React Native Calendars. I've looked at it, it looks like it does 90% of the things that I wanted to do and the rest 10% I can customize myself. So that is very, very cool. If we go down here, there's a calendar component, sweet, not really what I want. There's actually another component down here which I've been keeping my eyes on called uh, calendar list. Where is it? There it is. Look at this, look at this nice little scrolly calendar list. So that's what I want to use to actually have there be a list of all the dates that you took photos on. And for that, I can use calendar list. Um, I've already npm installed this. I would actually want to go on to the uh, project zero screen. Um, I actually want to make a shortcut here where in the router, I can actually have there be a, uh, a an initial route screen. So initial route name, uh, and that's going to be route config uh, project. So if I save that, I think I'm gonna get an error because I need params. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. So I can do initial route params. What does that look like? What is initial route params? Navigation params. Oh, so it's just anything. So for this, what did I call it here? Project list screen. When you push it, project name. So we're gonna do uh, project name, we're gonna call it banana pan, just for fun. Cool, banana pan. So this is just a nicety because then I can actually just see things when it refreshes, I don't have to worry about clicking into it every time. So actually go into the project screen. This is the project screen, yowza, baby. Cool, yowza screen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this because it seems to have most of the things that I want. Let's paste this here. Uh, this is an error. Uh, I actually need to import this. I know you can't find it because it's not there. Let's actually, uh, are there types for this? There might be. npm install dev types. Uh, what is this called? This is called React Native Calendars. Let's see if that exists. It might, might not. I'm not really hung up about it. So let's go here, import calendar list from React Native Calendars. Save that. It refreshes. Whoa, look at that. That was all for free. That is wild. Let's actually remove that, the full view. That is so cool. I'm gonna get in the console logs. Whoa, well that makes my life a lot easier. Uh, no customer is supposed to pass Fault 50, I'll actually just make this uh, four. Future will make this four as well. That is wild. That is so cool. Uh, show scrolling indicator. Yeah, I wanna show the scrolling indicator. Uh, so let's customize this a little bit because otherwise this episode gets real short. Uh, so this is saying it inherits all the calendar params up above as well. So let's look up to see what those are. Oh, that's customizing it. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so current, yes we want that. Uh, min date, not really sure how, I don't really care about that. Max date, where are we, we're in September. So the maximum date that can be selected, dates after max will be grayed out. Uh, so actually I do want to configure that. I'm gonna say max date, uh, we want it to be uh, today. Can I just do that? Does that work? It does, look at that. You just can't use anything in the future. That's sweet. Okay, that's good. Uh, handling which gets exited on date press. Yes. Uh, 
going to do on day press because this is what we're going to say. This is what we're going to use to actually show the camera. So let's actually, uh, we're going to say save that, select a day. So 19 should be nothing. Great. 12. There you go. Select a day. Day oh. Me say day oh. Let's just come together really nicely. Month formatting in the calendar title. Um, month change. Right. Hide arrows. Render arrow. Do not show days, months, other months in. Hide extra days. Uh, nah, we'll keep that. Disable month change. First day is one. Hide show week numbers. Nah, on press. Yeah, so um, for the future, because you can't really do that much in the future, we're just going to do one. I think what we're going to do here eventually for the past scroll range is taking the earliest photo and maybe doing minus one month. That's probably what we'll do, but we only have that now. Uh, that's it. Let's actually go back to the router and let's just remove all this. Here's our application. Click this. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, that's so cool. That was easy. Uh, what a short episode, the power of open source. Is there anything else that I wanted to do? Uh, let's go to the readme and see. So, yes, render calendar. For a day that has a picture, show it. Uh, for days day is grayed out. For days that don't have a picture, show the number of the day. We need to click open the camera screen. Um, show edit icon on the top right. You can do that for now, because that might be a thing to do. Show how we can add. Uh, ability to at least delete. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to have the ability to at least delete a project, or even rename a project if we wanted to, but that requires more UI, which I don't wanna deal with right now, so let's just do uh, delete a project. We have the simulator here. I wanna add an icon on the top right here, which is what I actually have up here as well. So I'm just gonna kinda steal from the code that I already have, where I have the project list screen, which is up here, and you have the navigation options. The navigation options in here. I do have the title. I actually want to have a header right as well for the project screen. Uh, can I mm, touchable opacity? I'm gonna import this guy. Uh, styles. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. And then we're gonna say uh, delete. And I'm just going to say this have be delete project. So on press, we actually are going to use the uh, mutate from data again. So here, we actually want to do uh, delete project. We're going to have this be a project. I'm going to mutate again. Uh, we have draft, which is application state. And we're actually going to go through and um, say draft projects equals draft projects filter proj for each element. So proj, uh, so any projects that don't equal the given in project, I want to then return uh, right. And then that should give me the updated thing to delete the project. So let's save that. I'm going to go here and we're going to do a few things. We're going to have this do um, uh, mutators dot delete project. Um, I guess all we have is what other properties do we have in here? Navigation options, navigation params, screen props. I'm not sure which one I want to use. Navigation get params. So actually, let's just say uh, delete project. We're going to have it be project name. Project name. And 
and this is actually going to be a string. So let's actually change this to take in a string. So where proj dot title doesn't equal project name. Uh, project name over there. Okay, that works for me. Uh, and then we actually want to do navigator navigation go back to actually go back to where we were so let's save that let's go here complete project and look at that whoa refresh the page that was easy let's see that that was easy cool so we go here another one Create it. Yeah, another one. Go here. Hit delete project. Look at that. Refresh it again. Cool. So we have a calendar with the ability to delete it. I'm going to expand on this later. But uh, that's kind of the basis of the calendar on the project list screen. That was awesome. Uh, let's not do the redundant delete project. Hit here. Nice. Okay. That was this episode. Project list screen. Much easier, at least at first blush, than I thought it would be. That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you're seeing, become a subscriber down below so I can give you more of these things every time. And I will see you again next episode when I think we're gonna work on the camera screen to get that actually showing and get that mostly working. That'll be a fun episode to do. Catch you again. Catch you again then. Bye.